Hi, it is time to pull up the green screen, go back into my cozy room and do the deed, if you know what I mean. Just check in your submissions on Reddit, okay? Okay, boomers, if you have questions with quality, post it on our subreddit, no matter your entity. I may or may not check it in the next episode of Flat what is this? Warning! Graphic content! What happened here? Not safe for work! Let's watch it. Whoops! What happened? Somebody got shocked there. Oh, he's moving. He's fine. The reason I said he likely survived is that after the shock, he started moving, which means his muscles are back in order. So hopefully his heart is pumping and he's breathing. Otherwise, he still needs immediate attention. See if you're shocked at lower voltage levels of 250 volts and less at 60 hertz or below. If the current passing through your body is more than 10 milliamps, which is already super painful, then your muscles and nerves stop functioning normally. You get contracted at some level you can't even let go of the wire. In those cases you lose control of your muscles so your heart stops pumping and your lung can't breathe anymore. But if the shock is quick then you recover quickly and everything goes back to normal. That is if you don't have some underlying health issues. In these cases even if the shock is longer perhaps you can survive even up to one minute if your blood has enough oxygen in it to maintain your cellular health. But any longer than that then your cells start suffocating especially your brain cells and your heart may not recover automatically which means you better hope somebody around you knows CPR and can do chest compression chest compression chest compression you want to get your weight fully on top of it near lock out of the elbows so that you're translating the force of your body weight into the person's chest of course after the electricity is disconnected safely otherwise they'll join you painfully but in much higher voltages it's not just a matter of your nervous system recovering it's a matter of so much power burning your teeth tissues and organs. So after such a shock and after the power is removed safely, the people around you first must make sure that your heart and lung are back in business and then that you get treatment immediately for your severe burns and hopefully you will survive. Hopefully the guy survived. Just that I don't understand. I mean look at this. Close to all these power lines? Obviously somebody's gonna get a shock there. Those lines must be thousands of volts. There, you can see where the top of that post touched this super high voltage power line. How did they even miss this? Where is the work safety personnel there? I mean, I'm worried to be halfway between earth and those power lines and these guys are picking up a post that is pretty much the same height as that power line. The guy who controls the lower part of the pylon got a medal? A medal for what? Surviving electrocution? Or for working under such dangerous conditions? If your work includes raising the long pole under a power line, just nope out of it. 500 watt incandescent light bulb from local hardware store. Why would they even make these type of lights anymore? Bombillo incandescente. Use it if you want to warm up your eggs to hatch a chicken. Otherwise, just use LED lights. You get the same brightness with a tenth of the power. Electricians are literally training ferrets to pull wires through tunnels too tight for tools. That was a tongue twister. Oh, he's shoving the ferret into the hole. <laughs> and the ferret is taking the wall. That's a good idea. Come on, ferret, get out. There you go. <laughs> Osho approved ferret. What's next? Training an elephant to change the street light? Actually, that's not a bad idea. You know what happened. Cry, cry, laugh. <laughs> what happened here? Environmental storytelling. Oh. <laughs> The guy opened the power panel and vaporized? <laughs> In reality, you never disappear. You just go into a different dimension. The side effects may include calling your mom for help, peeing your pants, and regretting your life choices. Made his favorite dish? I would eat it if it was a cake. Can one of you make a lifelike transformer out of cake and post it? Whoever designed this should go to hell as you can get shocked with 240 volt AC. What are your thoughts? <laughs> yeah, look. <laughs> <laughs> Why are the contacts coming all the way to the top of the, even exposed? Yup, looks like done by a business running from their garage. All you need to do is to put your thumb on it and get a burn mark. Or worse, it could run through your body if you're touching the ground somewhere else on your body. Standards and regulations, have them. Capacitor gave up. What is this, a capacitor? <laughs> oh, that's the top of it. Wow. 
Why is it missing those grooves on the top? Such big capacitors should have grooves on top that breaks open under lower pressure to prevent capacitive pressure cooker bomb. Let me see if I can record a slow motion of a capacitor blowing up. Here's a capacitor with those grooves I was talking about on top of it. If you can see that, let's blow it up and see what happens. This footage is incredible to me. Good to me too. Gavin? Anyway, you see here, first, those grooves open up, releasing the pressure inside the capacitor and avoiding a much more catastrophic failure. Some bigger explosion that could break the surrounding components too. But despite that, you see a bigger explosion afterwards because the plates of the capacitor touch each other and short the power line that causes a ton of current and power and explosions through it. Of course, that wouldn't happen if I hadn't connected it to such a high voltage. On the systems they are designed for, the voltages are not that high. Found on street in Colombia. <laughs> the outlet is pretty much becoming a part of the tree. Well, actually, at the end of this December, I'm going to Colombia. I'm gonna see a lot of these things. <laughs> For the sake of my travel video, I hope Colombia is a land of strange electricity installations. Buried high voltage power lines generating magnetic field. Is this true? There is some strong magnetic field there. And they're standing up. Hmm, what could be the reason for this? And it's pretty much everywhere. What sort of power line must be running underground that generates this much magnetic field? It might not be power lines under there, might be a huge transformer creating such massive magnetic fields. Can you please show me a picture of what's underneath there? I'm sure this is safe, yes? Sometimes I just give up on humanity. Why are those power lines running through the stairs? Unless they are not power lines and they're just communication lines, but still. I mean, they look like power lines. Hopefully they're just communication lines. At least the high voltage lines are running overhead. Doesn't matter, even if this was just a rope, why would it be running through the stairs? The designer of the stair was like, hey, more things to grab onto to stay safe climbing the stairs. Cable de extensión. <laughs> yes, I've seen many of these in Mexico. I still can't figure out why someone would go through all the trouble of making something dangerous like this than buying a proper extension cord. Maybe it's a cost thing because this thing you can cut out of a broken appliance or lamp or something and this one you can pull out of the wall and put together. Can my dear Mexican viewers enlighten me please? Do that. You can do that or explain. Range. So I have here an apparatus. It um, contains an oscillator, and an oscillator is just like peace. So okay. let's take the lights down. Globe, two liters, filled with xenon oh, yeah, and nothing it's one else. Of these. <laughs> this is something cool. So now the globe. See, we... it's making a plasma toroid inside the ball. It is real. Actually, I'm in the process of making one. I didn't know where to get one of those glass globes, so I bought one of these plasma globes. Let me turn off the light. Can you see the arcs now? I'm hoping to be able to use this glass in the same experiment they are showing and make that plasma toroid. Subscribe to see that video later. Respect! <laughs> Salute to you, good sir! Component decided to nuke itself. Yeah, components tend to like to do that. Power lines in Thailand. Yeah, these are not power lines. Communication lines. Such a mess hanging all these overhead. These should go underground. It's costly to put them underground now after everything is connected. How to become better? I've been doing electronics since I was eight. I find building electronics insanely interesting. Can anyone tell me what should I start with? Subscribe to a good electronics YouTube channel like FESZ Electronics, EV Blog, you are in Electroboom subreddit, at least mention me. Mehdi, more perpetual nonsense machines for you. A magnetic motor is a device. Scary corona noise. I need to be there at night to see all the corona discharges there. Is it actually corona discharge or just wires vibrating or something? The amount of power loss in transition lines due to corona discharge is staggering and must be stopped. Vote for me and I'll avoid corona discharge altogether. Another hollow political promise. I draw this image for you. <laughs> I guess I do look like this. 
Nice drawing. I should print it and put it on my fridge. Watching Electro Boom during a physics lesson is so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> they are showing my videos in classrooms, oh my god. Makes me nervous when my nonsense is shown somewhere important. How does this work? Where's the wires? Where's the wires? Where are they? <laughs> well, that switch is a battery-operated remote control. Not everything has to have wires. Electro Boom, please do not check our outlets in the Philippines. You're gonna kill yourself. Huh? How do you know? I'm gonna prove you wrong. I'll go to Philippines and not kill myself. What are these anyways? 10 amp, 250 volts? You guys use 250 volts? I must go to Philippines. And no ground either. Mm. I've seen some countries like Japan don't have grounding in their outlets. They better have good insulation to ground. I can't believe I went to Japan and didn't test their electrical outlets. This is fine. What are these breakers? Why are they making so much noise? Oh, there is another one. I guess don't wiggle live lines. Shocking. What in the world is going on? Why is there live voltage between the faucet and the drain? There might have been some foul play at work. Decided to spice up Halloween decorations this year. Oh my god. <laughs> You're gonna give people heart attacks with that. Or make them aroused. Either way, no good. Look at this absolute abomination I found in my YouTube shorts. Uh, who'd you say did the electrical work? <laughs> guy just shorted everything. Everything is grounded. It's actually pretty safe. Might be my greatest achievement yet. Top 0.1% of viewers, you watched 304 of their videos this year. That's dedication. It is, thank you. How can ARC create trust? I mean, trust is built upon years of good relationship, communication, and forgiveness, not ARCs. <laughs> the word you're looking for is thrust, brought to you by number six and seven. <laughs> what the hell does that even mean? Anyway, the arcs you see jumping at the end of those spikes are AC, so the charges jump in and out of them and their net force is zero. The reason you see those things turning is that the plasma gets hot and expands the air and pushes those things around. And then it creates trust. Habibi, come to Brazil! <laughs> Look at that, they have the same outlet for both voltages. Oh, the amount of things that can go wrong there. Although typically those plugs are made specifically for the higher voltage, so if you plug something like that into a lower voltage, nothing should happen. But at the same time, having a 110 volt outlet with that plug means they have devices with that plug that runs on 110 volts, so I bet things can go wrong. Oh man, I've heard so many good things about Brazil, I should go. Image you can hear. Full bridge rectifier. Thank you for your dedication to my nonsense. Teacher played Electro Boom video in our electronics class. Oh my god, I have to make better educational videos for these people. Although my point is to inspire students. If they want to continue on the same path, I'm sure they'll find better and more accurate answers on their own. Electric salsa? <laughs> Arcs jumping from a salsa ball? You know, not all arcs are generated from electricity. Sodium or potassium bits mixed in periodically bursting up is the more likely answer. Three pin socket. I mean, when you have a pole, you need a hole. 